Have you missed your chance to apply to daytronotation.tech? Multiple posts on Reddit would certainly suggest so. And I've also received many comments stating that the starter assessment has now changed to only allow those who code onto the site. And many more explaining they were never even given a starter assessment. In this video, I'll be discussing if you can still apply, how the hiring process has changed, what to do if you don't see a starter assessment, as well as tips to give you the best chance of success. The information that I'll be providing today is all from my own research. And the only involvement that I have with the site is as a freelance worker, completing tasks when I have the time. Daytronotation.tech is a website that hires workers on a freelance basis to complete work online from home with the work almost exclusively being to train artificial intelligence. As you can see here, I've made over $9,000 on the site so far in under a year and there are people making way more money on the site than me. So is there any truth in these Reddit posts and comments questioning that the site is no longer hiring? All of these posts appear to be from people who have only just applied in the past few weeks and are questioning why they've not received a response yet. But, as we know, daytranotation.tech doesn't let you know if you haven't been accepted. Which is why people hope there is still a chance they will be accepted in the near future. But sadly, if it's been much more than two weeks since you completed the sign up and starter assessment process and you haven't received an email like this, letting you know that you've passed, then it's highly likely that you've not been accepted. And although this is frustrating that you never get told definitively that you haven't been accepted, so many companies do this. Even for in-person jobs, this happens. So just try and remain calm and begin looking for the next opportunity. The site is definitely still accepting new workers. As we can see in this response from Jeremy, who is a worker for daytranotation.tech who handles some reddit queries where he states the site is still accepting multiple workers each day i've also had comments from a viewer letting me know that they got accepted onto the site in february and used my sign up and starter assessment video to help them so it's still entirely possible to get accepted onto the site if you put the work in i will mention though as of right now the only countries they are hiring from are Canada, the US, Ireland, the UK, New Zealand and Australia. So if you are outside of those countries, unfortunately you will not be able to get hired currently. However, you can still apply and you will be emailed if or when the site begins hiring from your country. As we have now established that daytranotation.tech is still hiring why are so many workers not being presented with the starter assessment after signing up? Without passing the starter assessment, there is no way to work for daytranotation.tech. So this is obviously a massive issue. I've done some research on this and have found a definitive answer. If you are applying from one of the six previously mentioned countries that the site hires from, you should be presented with the starter assessment after completing the sign up process. In this post on Reddit from Jeremy, he confirms this. So, if this has happened to you, then get in contact with the site support and they should hopefully be able to resolve it for you. You could also try to contact Jeremy as well, but I think he might get a lot of messages each day, so may not be able to respond. While searching for an answer, I also found this post, where the person believes it could be being caused by multiple accounts working or replying from the same house. Whether that's true or not, we'll probably never know, but they did state that applying on a different Wi-Fi and using a different email resolved it for them. Finally, I have received multiple comments informing me that there has been changes to the starter assessment, with the main one being that it has now changed to being coding or software engineering based. This isn't occurring for every starter assessment, and only on some, as we can see from the comments on the screen. When this person first applied, it was a test with coding based questions. However, when they tried applying again, the assessment did not feature any coding questions. 
To reduce your chances of receiving a starter assessment with coding-based questions included, apply through daytranotation.tech's website and not through any of the adverts which mention coding that have been on various social media sites. We can see from these comments that this person applied through that advert and got an assessment with some coding based questions. If you do find yourself with a starter assessment that has coding questions on, I'd recommend you answer any of the questions that you're able to, to the best of your ability. You can use my sign up and starter assessment video to help you, which I'll link shortly. In that video, I cover the different types of questions you can expect to encounter in your starter assessment and how to answer them to give yourself the best possible chance of being accepted into the site.